is up viewers Tanji and welcome to a brand new Fortnite video. In today's video we are going to be talking about 5 secret mechanics into the game that I have honestly experienced myself by playing the over 100 hours onto the game in the past 2 weeks and um, it is also some tips and things that will help you if you are new to the game and if you are a majority of the players that don't know the secret mechanics. Now, I hope that I will be able to do more videos like this because I absolutely love analyzing games and finding new weird mechanics that uh, maybe should or shouldn't be into the game. Uh, animation cancels and some things like that that will increase your survivability, maybe give you an advantage over other players and um, prove your worthiness in the game and if you're a skillful player or not. Now, let's get into the five spots of these different mechanics. Now our very first mechanic here that we have into the game is actually very well known uh, in the Fortnite community and it is actually moving and having mobility while in a consumable animation. Now what this allows you to do is actually move while you are bandaging up or drinking a shield potion and you can also practice this while you are in a lobby waiting for the game to start which will actually trigger while you are doing a emotes or whatever. and. Um, what this actually does is that while you were drinking or bandaging up uh, a potion and uh, whatever it is in that type of stuff, you will actually have a small little hitbox around your character that will trigger once you actually drink or start drinking that potion. And um, that little hitbox does not change uh, with your character but with the starting pose that you will have while you drink that. And if you stay in that little hitbox, you will actually be able to move and... Um, gain a little bit of cover or increase your survivability when uh, you are being shot for example and um, which can help you actually bandage up while moving a little bit and getting back into the fight out there while keeping yourself safe. Now if you guys don't want to practice this straight up in the field you can do so with the emotes in the lobby. The exact same little hitbox actually triggers when you trigger an emotes so you can actually move around and practice yourself a little bit with that little hitbox uh, before you take this into critical situations into battle. Now if you actually master this, this can actually increase your overall mobility and overall chances to win gunfights in Fortnite. Our second mechanic here is actually also pretty well known in the Fortnite community. This mechanic is actually used very much at close to long range fights that can actually increase a lot of your chances to win gunfights in this game. Now a lot of people use this in their video games to actually make the sniper shots uh, more accurate for certain weapons in a lot of games. I know Call of Duty Black Ops 2 did this as well. But if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of snipers in different games actually don't shoot from the actual weapon in hand from the player. They actually shoot from the very own POV that the player is in, aka the head hitbox that a player has in a video game. Now, Fortnite also implies this with their sniper rifle mechanics as well as them shooting them out of their head. And what this does is actually give you a overall advantage when you're peeking from example a ridge or anything like that in Fortnite, a ramp, a wall, anything that you can build. And wherever your crosshair is is actually where you are going to shoot the bullets. Now I know bullets actually have a pretty decent hitbox from these snipers. So what this will actually cause you to do is actually aim a bit higher from uh, whatever wall you are aiming from or ramp, whatever you have built to actually gain advantage over the enemy so uh, your bullet doesn't actually hit the ramp, although the bullet still goes out of the player's head while you're shooting. So this can actually make you a lot, um, or answer a lot of questions that you've probably asked in the past. Why can't I see this player when he's shooting me? Why can I only see half of his freaking head or the top of his head? This is because a lot of players actually, or video games actually implement this into their games. And uh, yes, like I said, Call of Duty has done it for many years and um, that's why I know this mechanic very well in the game. And uh, you guys can actually very much well use this to gain a lot of advantage over other players. But as well comes with a decent risk that players have a very easy hitbox and clear vision of your head while you are doing this. And uh, can easily hit a critical headshot on you while you are unaware of it. Our third mechanic is actually going to be a mechanic that not a lot of people know surprisingly and it's something that I've practiced over uh, a couple times to see and make tests to see what is more effective um, 
while I'm doing so. And this is actually ADAing while you are running or moving in this game. Now, if you guys do know, ADAing is uh, a thing where on computer you actually move side to side very quickly to juke players. And in games that you have a lot of mobility can be very effective when you are straight up in combat or in a gunfight with other players. Now you can't really do this in Fortnite, the only possible thing if uh, you are a general player of uh, having or being in gunfights and stuff, if you have played a couple of games like that and that in uh, the past, well you know that crouching and standing up, like pretty much just crouching, shifting um, over and over again is a very effective way to juke player shots but ADAing as well and you cannot really do that in Fortnite. Now, you can actually do this, it is actually a weird thing that you have to do um, to actually make this work and you have to really change directions when you are ADAing at the same time. So example, you are going to press A, uh, that will actually force you to change directions of your mouse with uh, the left side and then D is going to be on the right side. So basically change your mouse directions when you are changing directions in the game uh, with the movement. So in this game, what it basically does is keep your momentum while you are running strafing side to side. And you can see here, I mess up once in this clip, uh, which actually caused me to lose my momentum eventually. But if you get this pretty constantly, it will be very effective and can allow you to juke shots while you're getting shot from other players without building walls or anything like that. Now our next mechanic here that we are going to talk about is with the shotguns. Now this is only with the shotguns in the game, you cannot do this with any other weapon. But short and sweet, what this does is that you can actually cancel the animation of a shell going into your shotgun midway, so basically saving like 0.5 seconds the animation um, and you putting a shell into your shotgun which puts an ammo, you cancel the animation, still shoots the shell that you just put into the shotgun. Uh, so basically what this does is that it still registers the bullets that you entered into the gun and uh, allows you to shoot it 0.5 seconds faster than you actually do uh, by not canceling the animation. Now the next mechanic is actually more of a for fun tip because it's not really a secret mechanic implemented into the game but if you guys do not know the grids on the map actually equal to 45 seconds each so if you guys don't know what the grid is it's actually one of those little squares on the map when you press tab uh, in Fortnite you will see over the map there's a small grid and what this indicates you is that it takes 45 seconds to get across one of these grids now a lot of people may not know how much time it will get them to get to the circle or just outrun the storm in time and uh, while they're looting their POI. So uh, it actually takes 45 seconds vertically and horizontally and diagonally across one of the grids. Um, it actually takes 64 seconds. So that is a pretty fun fact uh, about the grid and the map about Fortnite. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Uh, I hope that I'll be making more videos like this in the future if I ever do figure out more secret mechanics like this in the game or um, animation cancels or things like that because I absolutely love uh, watching stuff like that in the games happen and actually figure out stuff like this, uh, little bugs or stuff that can help you uh, win gunfights and put up your skill level of play in the game I guess. And uh, it, they're pretty cool to know and do in game and they actually just, I don't know, give you more satisfaction doing stuff or personally to me, I honestly feel like it just increases your skill level and, of play and can just overall increase um, your survivability in games and just perform better in overall games. So I uh, hope that I'll be able to make more videos like this. If you guys are not already subscribe and like. You guys go ahead and do all that good stuff. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys do have a wonderful day, baby.